Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This will get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock with news metal prices eyeing a boost from the Chinese housing rescue. But first, Wall Street has just booked a strong set of earnings reports. Most S&P 500 companies have now reported, and they've reported a 5.7% rise in profit growth, matching the outsides gains of the second quarter of 2022, when that was off the back of the prior pandemic weakness. Almost 80% of these companies came in with better than expected earnings per share and 60% better than expected revenues. These sorts of outcomes help explain why both the Dow and the S&P 500 are at record highs and why many investors don't think the equity markets are overvalued yet. But we should note that P-E ratios are higher now than long-term averages. In China, industrial production growth recovered in April after a disappointing March to be back to the expansion level in the prior three months. But this is the only good news in in Friday's data dump from the Middle Kingdom. Their retail sales rose by only 2.3% year on year in April, down from 3.1% in March and missing the market forecast of 3.8%. And that's quite a miss. And electricity production slipped in April from March to be up only 3.1% in the year. That is a long way lower than the 8% rise in the year to December. If 3.1% is a proxy for GDP, they're not on track to achieve Beijing's growth targets. And prices for new dwellings fell their most since July 2015. Prices for resales fell even more. The depth of their property sector retreat is laid bare in this official information. To clear away the drag that their property market has created, Beijing has taken some big moves. The central bank has removed its lower limits for banks that they can charge for home loan rates nationally. It has allocated 300 billion yuan for lending to local authorities so they can buy unsold housing for social purposes. The US Treasury 10-year yield is now at 4.42% and unchanged from Saturday, but down eight basis points from this time last week. And the price of gold will start today down $4 from Saturday at $2,415 an ounce. But that's up $45 for the week and just off its all-time high. Silver has shot up too, up 12% over the past week. And oil prices are still up at $79.50 a barrel in the US, while the international Brent price is still just on $83.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar starts today 10 basis points lower than Saturday at just over 61.3 US cents. That's up almost 120 basis points in a week, though. Against the Aussie, we're still at 91.7 Australian cents and a new one month high. Against the Euro, we're also firm at 56.5 Euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at just on 70.4, unchanged from Saturday, but up 80 basis points in a week. You can get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow.